Now, <laughs> our special guest this morning is Ashes to Ashes star, Dean Andrews, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Welcome back, sir. Yeah. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Now, of course, everyone knows Dean as uh, old school copper Ray Carling in the hit BBC drama, uh, Ashes to Ashes, a show that's seen him do almost as much time travelling as Doctor Who. But this is the final journey, the last no. ever. Yes, oh yes. Is it really going to be the end, the it's end? It's really, really going to be the end. I actually saw it yesterday, uh, the kind of end of the end, and uh, it's amazing. Great telly. I guess it's almost impossible for you to tell us how things are going to progress without giving away the good stuff. Mm. Is the door going to be left even just slightly ajar for a potential comeback? No, no, the, the door is very, very firmly shut. <laughs> so... Uh, it's, it's the right time to get out, I think. We've had five years, including life on Mars and ashes, and we're told the story, it needs a conclusion, and it's got one. So, and we're all really happy with it. I was just... You're happy, not even slightly sad? Of course. You're going to miss the people you've worked with. You know, the storylines are great. It's, it's great to be part of such a successful show. But as an actor, you kind of do get a feeling when it's time to... To move to on. To move on, and the writers have written... Yeah, an amazing series. As a fan, <laughs> as a fan, don't move on. Well, we'll come round your house. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you beat someone up in front of me. Absolutely. That'd be really good. Yeah, it could be the dog. Cause Liz, you are twisted. All you really are. Does that turn you on? Yeah, that's, why, that's what he does. I think that's his character. Yeah. <laughs> now, last Friday, saw Ray Carling uh, having a major part to play in figuring out why so many divorced women were ending up dead. Nothing to do with me, but remember this. <laughs> it's the perm real. They do it every morning. It's so it's of... not really. So it's. Uh... Uh, I don't have it for the, the whole six months, but every morning a lovely lady puts little pink curlers in my hair, <laughs> and uh, I look. That's so not Ray. I know. Well, <laughs> you, he's so hard. You kind of need to soften him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just assumed that they'd actually give you a perm for six months. It probably would be easier, but not going down the pub to watch the football with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> a real man, so silent. Do you have to ask? Apparently, we've got something in common. Apparently, you like a bit of a sing song. I was a I was a singer for about twenty four years. Left. Really? Yeah. Not and very good. You but... did it with Jane McDonald, if I remember. Yeah, right. me yeah. and Jane were on the same circuit, and we did the cruises and all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, I am the male version of Jane MacDonald. Did you want to be an actor at the time? No, I never even thought of being an actor, but Ken Loach came to Sheffield to make a film. Likes ordinary people in his pieces, goes to entertainment agencies to find them. Loads and loads of singers and comedians went to meet him. I ended up with a nice part in it. One of the professional guys took his agency in London. She rang me, said, I think you'll do OK. Seven years later, eight years later, I'm here. Wow. Yeah, really it's really random. Uh, it's an extension, though, isn't it? I mean, Liz will tell you, you know, it, when you're singing a song, if it's got a meaning in it, you, you're yeah. telling a story, basically, of love or hate or missing. You, you're always telling a story. And a comedian tells a story, you know, while, ever he's, while he's getting the joke, it's normally a... Well, can you tell us a story about the Taliban? Because it's fair enough fighting people in Salford, but you'd have run them with the Taliban, didn't you? We had a, a massive run-in with the Taliban, yeah, we went over Not to... on this, though, not on that. Uh, not on Ashes, no, no. I did a film called Kandahar Break, and we went... Uh, we were about 40k from the Afghan border, filming in the mountains, which is quite a lawless place. And, uh, and It all kind of started off quite nice, and then there was a little bit of tension. And uh, we had these vans, you know, ferrying us from place to place, and uh, some of the Taliban opened fire on one of the on one of the vans and shot three of the chefs that we got, and uh, oh they had to God. be taken out of Pakistan under the secret police, and I had to finish the film in Morocco. It was a very very scary place. Wow. But, I mean, the people were beautiful as well. You yeah, know, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. It's just you know, it's same as any 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 society. It's just a very small minority. The people were so welcoming. They 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 will give you absolutely anything. And, you know, you're my brother, you know, that's how they were. You're, my, you're, you're here, you're my guest, you're my brother, I'll give you anything. Uh, but just then, there, there but are it makes two... you uh, have a view on the job our boys and girls are doing out there. Oh, man, I tell you what, it, 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 it became the scariest moment of my life, so the boys and girls that are out there fighting, uh, you know, they, they deserve, you know, lots of protection mm -hmm. and lots of help and anything you can give them, they, they deserve it because... A, just being there in 48 degrees every day, at night time it's 38 degrees. You know, I was waking up exhausted from sleeping. You know, I lost, I lost 20 pounds in three weeks, and that wasn't from going to the loo. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really wasn't. Not, uh, not two shakes in the day and a proper meal in the evening. No. <laughs> well, you know, you, you, it was just so hot, and the altitude was... Everything worked so quickly, your, your heart rate was up and... 
you know, we were running around. It? Yeah, it was, it was a really, really tough place to be. There we go. Listen, it's nice to have an introductory chat with her. We haven't mentioned fly fishing this time. We'll do that during the breaks and spare the viewers at home. I think that's only fair. <laughs> now, here's what's happening on today's show, folks. After the break, we're on...